major tournament knockout game for the first time since the 1966 World Cup final. They will uh, celebrate long into the night, but England take their place in the quarterfinals, having knocked out their old adversaries, the Germans. Damien, you were right. England won. Yeah, they're true, and obviously the half of the draw that they're in, it's... It's opened right up for them. To, uh, their uh, football could well be coming home. You can hear them all singing it there in, in the stadium. They, they obviously get the winner tonight, uh, Sweden, Ukraine. And after that, Denmark, Czech Republic. So it's all there for them. Um, it was a nervy contest. They cancelled each other out for long parts. But listen, you have to say they deserve it. They've got the two goals. I'm really, really happy for Harry Kane. I hate to see a, a player his quality get so much stick. And even Gareth Southgate, you know, um, yes, we call him conservative, but you could argue it's a Mourinho-type performance. If you read up on anything he's done, uh, it's all about detail, detail, detail. He's addressed everything since the World Cup in 2018, whether it be mental, tactical, physical, anything. So um, he's got his just rewards, so I'm very pleased for him. And Dini, the, the German view, um, naturally very disappointed. I'm thinking of the Muller chance mm. at 1-0 down. Yeah, which was a giveaway. Sterling got caught in possession, and it was probably the, the, the best chance in the second half, or the only proper chance we had in the second half. Uh, we had the one through Vern in the first half. Over the 90 minutes, you've got to say that we probably didn't deserve any more than what we got. Um, and then we said it before there's the limited options on the bench. Um, Grealish, you know, he didn't do an awful lot, but he had a hand in both goals, and, and that makes a difference at, at this level. We didn't have. A Grealish on the bench and the squad and uh, overall I've got to say very disappointing because you know you can see that I think in terms of quality I think the English got probably a deeper squad than we have so we could only ever compete in the competition if we are as together as we've been yeah a united squad where everybody pulls in the same direction Homers and Müller have not been part of that squad in the in the last two years they hardly play with some of these guys you know they didn't even know them you know Müller played with Harvard 45 minutes in the last warm-up game. Uh, Hummels never played with Ginter and Riediger. So how do you expect within 10 or 14 days to, to, to form a team or, or to get a bond in that squad that uh, can challenge the best team? So, yeah, overall disappointing. But I've got to say, Yogi Löw, is, you know, he's done well for German football. He's been at the helm now for 15 years now, I think. Won the World Cup in 2014. But I think the last three years were really wasted with that extension of his contract before the World Cup. Um, yeah, it was a wasted three years, and yeah, we just have to start fresh now. But credit to England, you know, they defended really well, and mm -hmm. you know, again, um, I think they fully deserved their win tonight. And Richie, for, for Southgate, you know, we spoke about him beforehand and about how he seemed to keep all the, the history, and it was very negative history, as we know, from many, many years away from his English players. And they seem to, to wear that very lightly on their shoulders today. I think it's an approach that suits the players, but I think in these moments now in the scenes, I think they're going to soak it up now. The significance of this win, they'll allow themselves to take on board exactly what an enormous moment this is. Not only in this tournament for them, obviously, but in their history. It's a huge win. It's a, it's a win in the knockout stages. They're briefly saying goodbye to the Wembley crowd. Whether they win the next game or not will determine whether they get to see them again in the semi-final. But I think they deserve to win. Um, they're not as flamboyant as other teams we've seen in this tournament. They're not as creative or as imaginative in attack. But what they do do and do very well is they're, 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 they're resolute. They, they, they are at times difficult to break down. They get yet another clean sheet. Um, and that man there, their captain, is now a goal scorer. So some of the conversation around him and his selection will be put to bed. Mm.